Hi everyone, my name is Elena. I'm the Visual Arts Manager at ArtsQuest and today, well this weekend is the first weekend of Chris Kindle Mart. Obviously it's early this year um, because of coronavirus, uh, but every week throughout Chris Kindle Mart I'm going to make another one of these Stay Creative videos uh, showing you how to make some sort of craft, ornament, decoration, whatever, inspired by the holiday season. Now because it is still October, I thought I might start out with something a little bit more fall centric than Christmas centric, but I think that this is something that could work all, all up until the end of the, of the year if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to use twine to make a, um, a twine pumpkin. Uh, so all you really need for this is twine, a pair of scissors, maybe something to be like the stem, so some sort of stick. I found this, this was a dead plant. Uh, use whatever you got. Uh, and if you want to, you can use some sort of like tube to help you wrap, but it's not necessary. Um, but I'm going to get started and show you how it works. All right. So I'm going to use a rolling pin as kind of like the basis just to help me wrap as much of this twine as possible. And what I'm going to do is, uh, basically hold my twine against the rolling pin and just wrap it around and around the rolling pin. Um, Alrighty, so that's like a good amount. There's no right or wrong amount of twine to use for this either, and honestly you can add more if you decide you need to. Um, but I'm just going to kind of snip that off, and what I'm going to do now is, uh, trying not to let it all unravel, I'm going to sort of carefully slide all this twine down my rolling pin. Okay, so now I've got all of this twine, um, and what I'm gonna do, real simply, I have like my two edges here, and I'm gonna kind of loop them through just on the one side. This part here is gonna become our core, um, like the center of our pumpkin. Oops, oh, these things happen. And I'm gonna loop it through the, all that twine, and then I'm gonna try to tie a knot, like so. If this part is a challenge for you, uh, you can also absolutely do that with like a pipe cleaner or something like that. Uh, but so this part is my center now and I can just kind of fan out all my twine around that center bit. And it'll kind of take on the shape of a pumpkin. And so mine is like a little bit, we'll say on the sparse side, you could make yours, um, you could just keep going and co going with the twine and it'll be a lot thicker. So up to you. To uh, finish off the look of my pumpkin, I'm just going to take some of this dead plant material and turn it into my stem by just kind of trimming it. And I can stick it in the middle. I can trim it down a little bit further too if I want to. All right, and here you have it, everyone, um, a twine pumpkin. Uh, so good luck with it. If, I hope you enjoy making it if you try it out. And uh, if you want decor but DIY is just not for you, make sure to go check out Chris Kindle Mart and maybe buy like one of the glass pumpkins from uh, the retail space that uh, from ArtsQuest. But, have a good one and hopefully I'll see you guys next week.